So this new story broke, I don't know, almost a year ago now, but eh, what the heck, I want to make a video of it anyways. And it's kind of, it's, it's pretty interesting, I would say. Um, this is a pastor uh, from named Philip Hutchins, who is a pastor in Sussex, New Brunswick, Canada. And um, he made this post. Um, this was back in May of 2015. So, again, like I said, it's dated, but, you know, let's watch it anyways. Um, the post says, Dear insecure women, please stop conveniently including your chest in your selfies. Um, we don't need... <coughs> we don't... We don't need your weird aerial views. We are embarrassed for you. No, really. <laughs> I... I'm actually wondering if this guy is gay. I mean, no problem being gay, but you just said you don't like looking at breasts. Um, so what the hell here? I know you're trying to make up for other losses, but let's be honest, the whole pick is a loss. Hashtag against breasties. Yeah, well, okay, so what losses would there would those be? Like, you know, not having a god in your life or some other bullshit like that? <laughs> oh geez. Okay, well let's uh, let's watch the video here. A Facebook post from a pastor has sparked a firestorm of controversy on social media. The post called women who take selfies that show their chest insecure and an embarrassment. And as CTV's Ashley Blackford tells us now, the post may be gone, but the anger over the comments is going strong. They're selfies with a message. Hashtag breasty strong. They're trying to promote the confidence instead of the shaming. And it's shaming that Sarah Cunningham K feels this pastor did when he posted this on his Facebook page. Dear insecure women, please stop conveniently including your chest in your selfies. Don't need your weird aerial views. We are embarrassed for you. No, really, we are. I know you're trying to make up for other losses, but let's be honest, the whole pick is a loss. What? Okay, let's just go back here for a second. I didn't. Okay, I didn't see that before I hit play, but it says, "Please share. Let's save lives." Okay, how exactly is, like the way I am reading this, like I I, I think there's there's one two things he's going for. I I think he's going to go for the second here, um. But you know the way I'm seeing it is, discouraging selfies with a shot of cleavage is going to somehow lead to less people dying but i i think like and, and that's that's just rubbish like total rubbish but the what i think he's going for is you know let's assimilate more people into our cult here of course you know that, that's what he's going to do you know he needs that he needs that tithe every week to you know keep paying the bills God, you ever know these? There's more and more of these pastors that uh, just want to be like the next Joel Olstein. <laughs> like I, I think um, I, I heard somewhere is that just just to just to keep that Joel Olstein's church running costs like a t quarter million dollars a week, like for like the power and the cleaning and all that stuff, which is just absurd. <laughs> I mean, like, again, like, look, but, you know, look at Joel's uh, wife. Look at his house. <laughs> Ever see Preachers of L.A.? Anyways, I, I'm, I'm digressing here. Let's watch the rest of the video. Pick is a loss. Reverend Philip Hutchings is founder and leader of Higher Life Christian Center in Sussex. He has since deleted his Facebook post. CTV made several attempts to contact Reverend Philip Hutchings when I went into the Higher Life Christian Center. Staff there told me that he was out of the country at... Okay, I, I find this a little weird. Um, I'm just kind of like, you know, looking at the location of the church. And this kind of looks like it's Main Street or something. Or one of the other, like, main arteries. So, I'm, I, I'm just wondering, like, for, like, you know... Um, uh, parking sake this seems like a really strange place to put a church um right on main street that seems very strange to me um you know i i've i've never been to suscus well you know I, I probably have driven through there once or twice 
But this just seems like a really strange location. But, you know, maybe he has parking in the back or something. I don't know. Meetings. We tried to contact him through social media and over the phone, but so far there's been no response. Of course not. Now the term breasties linking together breasts oh and God. a selfie is catching on. In essence, it's a selfie taken from above, oh. which is a flattering angle for most people. A, fem <laughs> a feminist who's pissed off about this. <laughs> Go figure! Okay, in, in all seriousness, she's not saying whether or not she's a feminist, but... She definitely looks the part. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, and just so happens that a chest happens to be in it. The pastor's post has women on Facebook taking selfies from above and hashtagging them, breasty strong. Yesterday, um, Erin, one, uh, one of the other girls that works here, came in and she was in a bit of an uproar <laughs> uh, over something she had seen on Facebook. And uh, she said that she wanted to go over and, and take her own breasty in front of the church. And she said, you come with me? I was like, yeah, I'll come with you. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, when you go through, I go through my Facebook page, like all these people are posting it and it's not provocative pictures they're just pictures of us every day and those everyday pictures are sparking a lot of conversation over this one face okay that one facebook post oh come on come on stupid flash player work work the way i want you to okay this one's kind of provocative like it, it's like the only real thing that the camera's pointing at just you know just saying not that I'm against it. I, I am all for women showing their cleavage. All for it. And those everyday pictures are sparking a lot of conversation over this one Facebook post. Now today I spoke with a few members of the Higher Life Christian Center. All say they agree with the post the pastor made, but none would agree to go on camera. Of course Kayla? not. You know, co this is cognitive dissonance working at its finest. Cannot disagree with the pastor on anything. You're welcome. CTV's Ashley Blackford. With no, his that's <laughs> So, yeah, what do you think? Um, I, you know, it seems to me like this guy's gay. Nothing wrong with being gay. But I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below.